Alright guys, welcome back to Let's Play Rune Factor 2, a fantasy over this moon. In the last episode, we got the crafting and we started doing a lot with it. And after the recording, I kind of made a mistake. I, uh, it's been a few months since I last recorded. Uh, COVID hit me pretty hard and I got sick for a few weeks and then depression hit the sad times. Yeah. Uh, I'm good now for the most part, and I'm really feeling recording. I've been doing a lot of editing for a lot of series, and I've been doing some streaming for Rune Factory 5, which is such a good game! So here I am. I accidentally made this last night when I was half asleep and didn't really mean to, but I, I did it. A uh, pendant, a silver pendant, a simple but highly attractive design. It's really good for upgrading, and so my brain went, do it! And I'm like, wait, 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 I should have done that. <laughs> But I'm here now, and we're doing it. I have an idea what I'm doing today, but that will wait until I do a little bit of mining and then rush back before 11 a.m. So we're going to try to do some mining over here in Machina. And see if we can get a bit of silver. Uh, I believe I can get RP... Yeah, okay. So the mining spot's right here. Once again, don't know if this actually helps, but it does not seem so. Wow, that's... That's rough, buddy. Uh, it's raining, so I don't actually have to water those crops over there. Grab some energy. That's rough, buddy. Aquamarine, or, yeah, that's right, Aquamarine, and it's level 1. <laughs> Guys, as a reminder, I'm using the best hammer in the game and my mining level is 95. What the crap is happening? Like, these mining spots suck. Also, ow. Energy. It's energy. I was really hoping for silver. Because I just keep getting gold from Padova, and this is the dungeon right before Padova. You'd think I would get silver here, but no, no silver to be found. Was there mining spots down here? I don't remember. I did recently, but yeah, I guess I was hoping for too much. Oh! Good job, Kane. Like I said, we need to get back before 11 a.m. if we want to do the morning classes, so let's do those right now. All right, let's begin the class. Sashimi, grilled fish, shrimp ahoy. I. Uh, I. I don't actually remember what day of the week it is. I didn't look. We're going to do aquamarine items. Today's lesson is for accessories that use an aquamarine. The first is an aquamarine ring. First, use gold to make the ring section. We need to use another piece of gold next. Finally, place an aquamarine on the ring, and you're finished. Did you understand my instructions? Up next is an aquamarine brooch. Brooches use quite a bit of a lot of gold. That's the first ingredient, in fact. The second ingredient is also gold. And the third ingredient is also gold, actually. Finally, place an aquamarine on the brooch, and you're finished. There's the only two we learn. Okay. It is Wednesday, which means it might be the day we buy the cooking stuff, right. so... Let's, begin the class. let's do it. Let's begin our lesson on cherry sashimi. Making sashimi is really easy to learn. Just wash a cherry salmon well, then thinly slice it. Next is mesu trout sashimi. Thinly slice the mesu trout after carefully washing it. Okay, next is rainbow sashimi. It can be made with just one rainbow trout. Next is char sashimi. <laughs> this one is simple too. Catch a char, then slice it thinly. Finally, one last sashimi recipe. This one is needlefish sashimi. Sashimi. Get a needlefish, then thinly slice it. Slice it. Sh 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 eh. Speaking's hard. And we're done. 
Let's get a magic book repaired. Want me to repair a magic book for you? That shouldn't be a problem. Okay, uh, I apparently don't have the item on me. Give me just a moment. Don't you wish we could have class outside on a day like this? When it's raining? You're an odd one. Watch out if you're in the library area. Why? <laughs> School isn't for playing, but Roy plays all day anyway. You don't have the right missing pa- Oh, I have it equipped. That's the issue. Uh, yeah, there we go. You found the missing page. This won't be any problem then. La la la, la la. There we go. Get us new. Got received the cure magic book. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. You want me to repair the medication book? Okay. Found the missing page. This won't be any problem then. La 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 la. Received the medication. Thank you, teacher. Don't mention it. Okay. So, cure, level 2. I think I was healing 80 before, so almost twice the HP. I don't know what the difference for medication is, though. I know it did poison before, so maybe also cures paralysis or something. Let's see. Is the description any different? Healing magic. Restores HP. Partial, partly repaired. Now allows a more powerful spell. Status ailment magic. Cures poison and paralysis. Partly repaired. Now allows a more powerful spell. Okay. I was right. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so the first one I want to make uses one emerald and two gold. I said it uses one emerald and two gold. So this isn't the recipe, but it's something that's the same level. So it should be a 37% chance. So theoretically, this one right here? Damn. I'm being attacked. There we go. That was far too many attempts. Now, to upgrade that further, I need silver, so it's not a good thing to upgrade with right now. But that gave me a bunch of experience. Putting my accessory skill up to about two-thirds, three-quarters of the way up accessories. If I could get silver, I would be set here. All right. Now, actually, buh -buh. Aqua Marine. You can't have my Aqua Marine. I want a bargain. Oh, I guess it's not today. Maybe it's Friday then. I didn't mean to do that. Ah! Energy! I have energy! Oh! Neat. Free stuff is mine. I don't need emeralds. I would much rather have bronze. Food time! Today we're having Chinese Manchu. Again. I mean, it's nothing new, so... I want to see. 39, 40, 21, 20. I didn't look at my HP or my RP, so I'm not sure if it affected those, but I don't... I didn't see any difference in my stats, so... weird. Maybe it helps me resist fire or something. I don't know. Spring's the time for napping during lessons. Of course, if you get caught, you get chewed out. Hmm, what should we do after we're done studying? Wednesday means it's the middle of the week. Only Thursday and Friday left, then it's the weekend! 
on a lesson. Time to start class. All right. Uh, we could upgrade further into these. That'd be a good way to power level these. So yeah, sure, let's do these. First up today is a rainbow water pot. It looks kind of flashy, but it's useful. Let's get you started. First, you need a lion water pot. Then, a silver. Then, another silver. Now, you'll need some gold. You should be sure that you have a lot of gold ahead of time. Then, you use a gold. Add some more gold, and you'll be done. What do you think? Got it? Next, you'll learn how to make a shiny hoe. First, be sure to get a seasoned hoe ready. Then use some silver. Use another silver, just like last time. Then use some gold. After that, add some gold. Basically, all farming tools use the same couple of components, so none of these should be too hard to remember. Finish up with some gold. Make it so, make it so it'll sparkle, even if it's completely covered in dirt. Last thing we'll be learning how to make is a famous pole. You need to have an intermediate pole to make this. Then comes wood. Use some that looks good and flexible. Then use the silver. Then one more silver to make the join. Then should put you should put a gold in the core of the rod. The last thing you'll need is another gold for the core. That should make the rod good and sturdy. All right. I want a lesson. Uh, bracelets. Yeah. Today we'll start with the simplest bracelet to make, the cheap bracelet. First, form the basic shape with bronze. After that, use iron to make the bracelet. Oh, actually, that bronze. Then that iron. The final step will also use bronze. Next is the bronze bracelet. First, prepare a cheap bracelet like I taught you. Next, start forming the basic shape with a hard horn. Next, you need some bronze. Finally, you'll need to use one more bronze. Next, I'll teach you how to make a silver bracelet. First, shape a piece of silver into a bracelet. Then you need one more piece of silver. Any questions? Next, I'll teach you how to make a gold bracelet. First, you're gonna need gold. You'll need one more gold. Finish it off with a little crystal. Finally, I'll teach you how to make a platinum bracelet. First, shape a piece of platinum into a bracelet. Then you'll need one more platinum. Strengthen the bracelet by mixing in a hammer piece. There we go. Now we know how to make those. I want to talk to you. It's proven difficult to decipher the writings on this tablet, but I like a good challenge. Gift time! Thanks. One of the items we actually just learned how to make is the item that would be good to grind with. The gold bracelet. Two gold and a little crystal. We have a 28% chance currently, which is not bad. I'm gonna go grab my little crystal from home. I'll be right back. Hmm. While we're here. So one little crystal and two gold has a 28% chance of making... Nothing. How about now? Nope. Statistically speaking, right here. Yep, perfect. Success. Skill increased. Up to 21. Nice. We have a 10% chance with the gold bracelet, so it's not really worth doing currently. But this will be a pretty soon good item to grind with. Gold bracelet. A golden bracelet. Simply slipping on your arm raises both your strength and your defense. As you might guess, it is the direct upgrade from the silver bracelet. The silver bracelet at level 10 gives 8 more defense, but actually 1 less strength, and is only worth 6G more, and that's kind of funny to me. Um, 
So theoretically, at level 10, we'll have something like 13 defense or so. And, you know, 4 strength or 3 strength or whatever it is. Let's check that. Uh, 4 strength. So that is a good item for now. We will grind something else later out of it. So I can get my hands on silver, I have a really good item to grind with. Alright. Let's finally do this quest. You've come for a trial. Here's the rundown for today, then. How you defeat ten flower blossoms. It's a plant monster, so it can't move, but underestimate this guy at your own peril. Still, it might be interesting if you could tame it. Keep your wits about you. Now off you go. Actually, now that I think about it... Yeah, because we beat that last boss, the Platinum Sword, a tough blade made from high-quality platinum. This alone was enough to make one popular in the past. 24 attack, base. That's not bad. It's way too expensive, but it's not bad. We have a better sword, though, so... Yeah. Sand there, yep. Paralyzed Ring, a ring that increases resistance to paralysis. The ring itself is infused with medicine. The round shield, which we can actually make, so I may do this to help grind up my forging skill. Talisman, field gloves, yeah. All this stuff. Oh, and I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't think I've actually said it today. We're at 8 friendship currently with Kane and 228 HP. Not bad, not bad at all. He's strong as can be, or almost. Just to be sure, it's not these. Nope, it's not those. It must be this one up here? Because I remember... Yeah, yeah, these are the ones that don't move. Defeated the target monster. There we go. Got a root, and that was my fifth one. There we go, that should be ten. Done. Perfect. Super easy when I'm not, you know, being denied access to the building. You did it, well done. How did you like my choice of monster for you this time? Well, anyway, here's your reward. Five energy. You making good progress? Keep it up. Well then, this time for hint number three. Escape magic is pretty useful. It'll save if it'll safely take you back to the entrance to a, a dungeon in an instant, no matter where you are inside. But if you just escape again from the dungeon entrance, you'll be whisked away all the way back home. Magic sure is useful. Come back for another trial soon. Bye bye. <sighs> Request from Tanya. Time for training. Come see me, okay? The trial for Big Mushroom. Ah, welcome, it's trial time then. This time out, I want you to defeat ten, some big mushrooms. Can you beat ten of them for me? This one's pretty tricky, so you'd better be careful. Just do your best, that's all I can ask. Easy peasy. <laughs> Defeated the target monster. There we go. Defeated all of them. You managed to do it? Well done. If you started to have trouble in, out there, you might want to invest in some stronger weapons. Here's your reward. Seven energy. You know those battle hints I've been giving you? Well, here's the fourth one. You can equip a shield if you're using a staff. Sounds like a good deal, doesn't it? But I still can't say you do, can do better than a blade. Come back for another trial soon. Bye bye Leaf Ball. Time for some training. If you hadn't realized the reason we're doing these is because she'll keep on giving new ones over and over. She has so many quests for us that it's better just to burn through them now, right? This time out, your target is a leaf ball. Can you defeat ten of them for me? 
If you want some advice, I suggest taking it to close combat if long range isn't working out for you. Good luck out there. You just want me to use swords, which I do. So I believe here... Yep, sure enough, these are the monsters. Five of them. They're all pretty much the same, just defeat X monster X number of times. I guess it'd be like X monster Y number of times for a Z reward. And we're done. Welcome back, a little tough this time, was it? Well, you will improve just by taking the easy route. Right then, here's your reward. 800G. Oh, let me slip in a plug from my shop. The weapons I sell change depending on the season. Spring's short swords, summer's long swords, fall's lances, winter's hammers. Well, that's it for the advertising. See ya. So I guess by the end of spring, you want to buy each of her weapons, assuming you care about them. Otherwise, you know, you'll have to wait until next year or make them yourself. While I think about it, I actually plucked an apple for her, so... Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. I really like yeah. apple. Alright, trial Plankoa. Let's do it. Came for a trial again today. This time out, I want you to defeat some Plankoas. Can you beat ten of them? I've heard reports of Plankoa sightings in a place in, uh, in Trieste Forest with a great view. I think this one might prove to be a little tough. Good luck. Not in the slightest, but we'll, we'll do it. So, I don't remember all of her quests and what order they're in. I was really hoping to hit a quest that was like a nighttime quest, so it'd be like perfect timing or whatever, but I'm not really running into that here. Defeated the target monster, yep. Level up. I wish I could make it so Kane wouldn't target them so much, or, you know, at all for when I'm doing my grinding. Behavioral orders would be nice. Oh, five of the target monster and a strong stem. That should be the last one. Yep. All right. Goodbye. He did it. Well done, Aya. Right, here's your reward then. 1,000 G. Oh, I've got something else for you too. A pitchfork. It might look a little funny, but I think you'll find it useful. Next time, I'll have a trial for you on Blessy Island. If you want to push yourself even harder, I can arrange a special Trieste Forest trial for you. Keep it up. There we go. We received two new quests from her. We'll do the Blessia Island one. Or... I can make this the trial episode for Trieste. Let's make this the Trieste trial episode. Give me a moment. Oh. This isn't what I thought it was going to be. I mean, high work, yeah, sure, I guess. Nothing wrong with that. I thought this was going to be something else. You know what? I'm not going to do this. If I can, I'd like to keep them in the same episode that I do them. That hasn't always been the case, but I have the option to, so I'll cut it out for here now. All right, up to Padova now. Let's see if we can get ourselves some silver. And just one-shot them both, sure. The hood, a hood that can conceal the entire face. Its cloth is imbued with magical power. I don't know if I've gotten one of those before. I could check my list now that I actually have a printed off list for once. I have not obtained a hood before. Wild. It's all new to me. Goodbye, iron. There's gold, which I need. Don't need this cheap cloth, though. There's the silver. Now, of course, it's not the same level. Why would it be? Where the hood, where the hood, where the hood at? So rather than just tossing every other item I get on the ground, I'm actually going to real quick see if I have any space in here for stuff. I just showed off the hood, so here goes this one. And the extra wolfang. 
We're actually going to toss these couple iron. This level 1 earth crystal. This level 4 water crystal. This level 9 bronze. All this red grass because we can just buy more later. Seventh boss isn't bad, I guess. Definitely don't need this on me, so. Eight spots. Eight spots isn't bad. Wait, did that just heal him as well? I, th I think that healed Kane. Yeah, it absolutely healed Kane. Maybe I wasn't close enough before, maybe it's because I upgraded my spellbook. Not sure which. Unfortunate about all that, though. Diamond, that's good. Not what I'm hoping for, but it's good. As a reminder, this is the place I can get platinum. It doesn't get much better than this. There's some silver. Okay, I'm being bullied. I don't like it. There we go. Silver done. Yeah, no, it's because I upgraded my spellbook. That happened from across the room. Nice! Even more reason to do that now. Oh, that's apparently not Kane. Got it. Gold. Bronze. Platinum. Iron. Iron. Oh! Little crystal. Nice. Good for grinding up things. Level up. Again. Alright, so this is where I can get magic powder from... Ah, great. Okay. Uh, medication, 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 right there. And instantly get that escape back on. There we go. Stop that. Pff, goodbye. And the same goes to you. There's my magic powder. That spell's actually really good. For practically a free upgrade. Yeah, and we're already like a third of the way there, maybe 40% of the way there to the next level. Nice and nice. Nice, 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 nice. Pendant upgrade. We have a 19% chance we're going to give it a shot. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna give it all that we've got. There we go. Success. And one more of those will actually put us at 22. The goal is to power grind. But what that actually means is that it's just gonna be a bit slow going. Power grinding is just using up the least amount of resources as possible. RP is not an issue for us. I'd rather use, you know, more P than resources. There we go. Skill up. And now we have a 28% chance. But we also have low health. Eh, I suppose we can do one more at the very least. Why not? Oh, we did it. Wild. What does that put us at now? Almost level 23. Rad. We love to see that. 
It's so close that I need to check to be sure that this won't do it. It was that close. Wild. We love to see that. All right, now at level 23, we take our gold bracelet and combine it with two gold. We have a 28% chance to do this. And we did it. Okay, from nothing in our bar, we go to just in our half. Perfect. And we did it again. Yeah, we're about to level up. Awesome. Or skill up, rather. Three times in a row at 28%. Sure, why not? Oh, and it's apparently no longer raining, according to the sound engine in this game. With a, th what, 37% chance? Yeah. Okay. There we go, another skill up. That now puts me at 25. Still not high enough to do what I want to do is the issue. Okay, mining time. Okay. That's nice. So the idea is that I can find silver. That's the stuff. Literally on cue. Weird. The more I think about it, the less I need this, so... Come on. There. Back to 4 RP once again. Gold, always appreciated. Don't need bronze right now. Don't need iron right now. And we're done here. <laughs> Found Kane the last second. I need a lot of silver is the issue. That means I have to throw away all the other stuff I get. Which is quite sad to be honest. If only inventory space wasn't so freaking limited based on what level items you're getting. And it's already 1 a.m. Jesus. Do I have a bird wing is the question. I'm gonna guess not, but we'll see. If not, I cry. Oh my god, how I cry. So I have an issue, right? I need a bird wing. Which means I'm gonna be coming over here to Machina Valley with only 45 minutes left. And abusing my time powers. Because I believe right here... No, it seems to be bees at night. There any over here? Yeah, even this got replaced. Those are some big flowers. Yeah, well, I can't get a bird feather, so I can't do what I wanted to do. Unfortunate. I guess I'll open the next episode with that. Actually, I could try to upgrade my tools for now. So we start without we start out with an iron, a second iron there, a silver shield, the root, and a cheap cloth. Let's see what the actual percentage would be. Forty-six percent. Not, not bad. Not, not bad. Alright, and for good luck, let's put them all in the correct order. There we go, the round shield. Round shield, a round shield. Used to turn tax aside rather than stop them full on. Level 6, defense 12. Sorry, level 6, because that's the average of all the materials we threw in. And now, if I were to go look at the upgrade material for that... It is as simple as an iron and a silver. There are better things to make, but I figured we could do that for the moment. We're gonna take our hoe, two of these random gold we have sitting around, both of our available silver, because we're just gonna hope that we get more tomorrow. 
and one more gold to make the shiny hoe. Figure we should just keep upgrading our tools as we go, though that means we're not going to be able to do a lot of the others because, you know, silver is such a limited resource at this point. So if you want to burn off money, you could absolutely buy a bunch of platinum, grind up for a single hammer piece, and then just start doing this. But that seems like a bit of a waste to me. 46% is not bad. So we take one aquamarine and three gold to make the aquamarine brooch. The aquamarine brooch, a brooch set with an aquamarine, as boldly blue as the depths of the ocean. It's level two, so it has four defense and increases your body skill. It's not good for what we need it for, but that's fine. Now if we take one aquamarine, one gold, and the aquamarine brooch, we have... A 10% chance. Not very good, but very balanced, I guess, resource-wise. When we level up a few more times, we'll have an even better item to make. But, you know, for now, we're going to try these. Burn through RP. I just want one success. There we go. We got it. And we got a skill level increase, which means we have doubled our odds, going up from 10% up to 19% with that. Let's confirm I'm right on that, but I'm pretty sure I am. Yep. All right. I am... I'm going to do some more of this. I won't actually stop the video because I actually want to show one other thing I'm going to be using. But that means I'll have to edit more. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Skill up. It puts us at 27 currently. Not bad. Let's go get some more energy. Another one. Algorithm brooch. Ignore the percentage you saw. That's not accurate. I just didn't feel like selecting the correct one. Just checking out another recipe. Skill up. All right. Not only am I out of aquamarine and gold to use for that, I might have some at home, I'm not sure about that, but I don't need to do that anymore. Because I have a 19% chance of upgrading the Hachimaki, finally, after a thousand years. We got the Aquamarine brooch up to level 7, that's not bad. Now, step aside. We're playing with the big boys, playing with the big boys, playing with the big boys now. Come on, one out of five my butt. There, I have actually set the success rate Correction, the suck rate, and as such have proven, it should happen this time, right? There we go. Skill levels increase immediately. There we go. Done. Skill level increased. We are now 30 in accessories. Not bad, not bad. Our Hachimaki is now level 4, so it gives 5 defense. Yep. Pretty good item. And I figure we're just going to keep getting stronger and stronger with it. Guys, that's actually where I'll call it here. I just wanted to get the Hachimaki this episode. Next time... Uh, we're of course going to do some Matania's missions over on Blessia and maybe in Trieste. I'm not sure what we're going to be focusing on. I don't want to be, I guess, just watering. Uh, moon drops will be done in just a few days. So, I guess we'll work towards that. See you all next time, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye. Good to be back. Mm -hmm.